Welcome to the Specialty Products Company Light Truck Alignment Sleeve Training Video. In this video, we will explain the selection process and installation of caster camber sleeves commonly used on light trucks. Selecting and installing these types of truck sleeve bushings can be made easier and quicker if a few simple rules are followed. The sleeve selection process starts with understanding the concept of what the sleeves are designed to do. They adjust camber and or caster by changing the position of the upper ball joint. The sleeve position determines whether camber, caster, or a combination of both angles will be changed. With Specialty Products Company sleeves, the slot position determines the direction of change. Sleeve selection can be done in different ways. The key to proper selection is knowing what size sleeve is already installed in the vehicle and then determining from the alignment readings the amount of change needed or installing a zero degree sleeve and making another caster sweep. To be able to read the size of the sleeve already installed in the vehicle, it usually has to be removed. Make sure to record alignment readings before removing the existing sleeve. Sleeve degree of change may be on the top or the bottom of the sleeve. Some list caster change first and then camber change. Others are for camber only and may read in degrees and minutes. This sleeve would be a one and one half degree sleeve. If the sleeve has no marking or you are unsure of the position of the sleeve, install a zero degree sleeve and take another cast reading. This way you know you are starting from a center position. Proper sleeve selection can now be determined by the alignment readings. The amount of change is controlled by the size of the sleeve selected. Sleeves range from zero degrees up to two and three quarter degrees in change. Some give even more change for specific applications. To select the proper sleeve for any given application, refer to the application chart in the front of the catalog for the proper series of sleeve. Then select the size in that series to achieve the desired correction. Different sleeve series are retained in the axle in different ways. The 23100 series, has eight lugs and is retained in the axle by two opposing tabs. The 23130, 23220, and 23230 series of sleeves used mainly on Ford Super Duty trucks has an eight-sided head that lays flat against a ledge on the axle to keep it from rotating. All of these series of sleeves use the upper ball joint nut to retain the sleeve in the axle housing. They also have only eight positions in which the sleeve can be oriented. This can be set to give all caster, all camber, or an equal split of camber and caster depending on the position of the sleeve. On these sleeves, the basic rule is that in the split position, the sleeve will give approximately two-thirds the amount of change listed for both camber and caster. For example, a one degree sleeve placed in one of the four split positions will provide 0.7 degree camber and 0.7 degree caster change. Another example would be if one degree positive caster and one degree positive camber change is needed. The proper sleeve would be a 1.5 degree sleeve oriented as illustrated in number five. The direction of change will be determined by which of the four split positions the sleeve is placed in the axle and on which side of the vehicle the sleeve is being installed. Now install the proper size sleeve in the correct position depending on the change needed. Torque the ball joint nut and install a new cotter pin. Now recheck caster by doing a caster sweep and recheck camber for correct readings. Adjust toe and road test vehicle. Another common type of sleeve uses a pinch bolt to retain the sleeve in the axle housing. The stock factory sleeve of this type has a locator slot and cannot be repositioned. The 23180 series replacement sleeve can be rotated in the axle housing to dial in caster and camber. Unlike the first type of sleeve, this sleeve can be dialed in to the exact camber or caster change needed. Today's modern alignment equipment can supply useful information and help when installing sleeves. Refer to the equipment manufacturer's instructions. To remove this type of sleeve, first remove the snap ring on top of the ball joint if equipped. Now remove the pinch bolt. On all sleeves, special tools such as sleeve pullers can be used to remove the sleeve. Some instances may require the use of an air chisel to help break the taper of the ball joint.
rock the hub assembly and remove the stock sleeve. Install the selected sleeve with a slot close to where the desired change is needed. Install a pinch bolt and lightly tighten. Reinstall the snap ring if equipped. Camber and caster can now be dialed in by turning the top of the sleeve with a socket and watching the live alignment angles on the alignment equipment. Torque the pinch bolt to manufacturer specifications. Recheck caster with a caster sweep to make sure the sleeve is oriented in the proper position. Adjust toe and road test the vehicle. 